everybody, welcome to Ocala Garage. My name is Thomas and I am mad at you guys. All right, not really, but uh, my last two videos I filmed, this is a brand new hat that I just got the other day. And I noticed when I was reviewing the videos, there's some weird like little white thing in here. And so <laughs> there was this little, uh, <clears throat> and you guys didn't tell me. I looked dumb the whole time leaving like this cardboard insert in my brand new hat. Anyways, uh, welcome to, I don't know, it's just part 40 now? I think it's part 40. Uh, I think what I'm going to do today is start working on mounting the hardware for the doors. That's my plan, so let's get to it. So I just wanted to point out that sometimes the pictures in the, in the instruction manual, they're great detail, but sometimes it's very difficult to figure out what's happening through the context of the picture. So this says attach the door hinge mounts to the door frame, uh, blah, 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 you know, so here's the door hinge mounts, so you can see, whatever, they go to the door frame. This is from the engine bay looking down toward the back of the car. This is on the passenger side. So I can see in this picture a little bit of the door cut out. So this is actually from, let me show you from this side of the vehicle. So you kind of see what they're showing you in the picture, but it's from the engine bay. It took me two minutes to figure it out because I was like, I came over here and I'm like, wait, <laughs> something's got to be cut out here, but they didn't tell me about cutting anything out. So put them in here. So there's no left or right with these. It's just, you know, driver's side, passenger side, it's just, you just flip it upside down. I believe that's the case, because everything seems to be symmetrical. So, this is gonna go in, like, into here. And then I somehow have to be able to magically get my fingers in there and get these carriage bolts in. And maybe I should have put this on before the body. Maybe I should Maybe I should have done that, because I don't think this is going to be easy to do. There's not a lot of fumbling around. And let's, uh, let's just see. Yep, first one fell out. Tell you what, we're gonna just try to get this one. I don't know if you guys can see anything that I'm doing or if my hands are just in the way. They're probably in the way. I can't see what I'm doing, so there's that. Okay, so that one's not gonna come out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now hand doesn't bend that way. All right. Yeah, that was easy. So now they're just in there loose, obviously. Um, but that's how, that's, this is how you adjust the door. You can go up, down, in, out. Top and bottom can go in and out. All right, so you've got some pretty good adjustability once you get the door hinges on, trying, trying to line up the door because the door's got to go forward, backward in the right spot, up, down in the right spot. Does it have to go forward, backward? Anyway, um, it also has to go, you know, in and out this way, right? So you can line up the, the top and the bottom with the body. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side real quick, and then we'll come back. All right, so I got the hinges on. So the next thing they want you to do is kind of just put some masking tape, or I'm gonna use this painter's tape, all in here. Um, and then we're supposed to mark like a quarter inch in all along here. I'll double check that with the manual. You should too, don't ever take my word for it. Um, and then from the other side, we're gonna make some really small uh, holes. We're gonna drill through Kind of where the where the where the two hinge tops 
hinges are, top and bottom of each one. So I probably need to make sure it's sort of in the middle um, when I do that. But that way you've got reference points on this side so you can make these cutouts um, so that the whole hinge system can go in. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this up um, and put my marks on and get those holes drilled and then we'll come back. Alright, so I've got the little drill holes here, 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 and here. Um, and then it has you measure an inch and three quarters from this side and then measure each hole height and then transfer that over here and then draw some lines. Then you just cut out this. Um, this is the part that always intimidates me, just cutting holes in the in the uh, body, but um, I guess I guess we'll just have to go for it. So this is the hinge, and I'm just I just kind of sort of laid it up there, and it seems like I don't know if you guys can tell from here, but it seems like that's about right. So I think we're just gonna go for it and cut out the holes. I mean. You know, whatever, it's just a couple thousand dollars worth of body panels, so, you know, fine. So here's what I've got. It's not pretty. I tried to make them a little bit smaller than I thought they needed to be, which they might still be too large. Um, but kind of a rough cut, and then we'll clean it up later. Um, but the openings are there, and I did the same thing on the other side. Um, this one, you know... I kind of didn't come over as far as I could have to make it nice and, you know, perfect and pristine. Um, but like I said, this isn't a show car. I don't want it. I don't care if it's perfect. I want to drive the hell out of it. So uh, little things like that, you know, we'll clean that up down the road, but I'm not too, too concerned. If I were going to build a perfect show car, I would have taken more time and more care and done this very, very precisely and then mirrored it on the other side. Um, but that's just not, uh, not how I do. You do your car your way. Anyway, that is uh, the next step. All right, guys, so I've laid out stuff um, to try and get organized. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to need for this next step, other than specifically these little bushings and I believe these guys here, because um, those will go through like this. At least that's the way it seems to be to me. So. We'll get these little bushings put in, which is probably going to take a little gentle persuasion, it looks like, which that's, makes sense. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, off camera, and um, we'll get those in and see how these fit in the doors. Here's a quick tip that I kind of sort of figured out after I had some difficulties getting the, um, these bolts in. Try to get the bolts in through the bushings before you try to get it in to uh, in place because the bushings might be just a little bit askew. So if you get the bolt in while you have you have this out, you can actually work them so that they're aligned. It makes it a little bit easier. Now the book also says that you can round, you know, kind of round down the the edge of this or taper it so that uh, it's a little easier to get in. That's probably good advice. I didn't do that, because, um, you know, I'm an idiot. But uh, we're going to give it a try without tapering the edge, but it's probably easier when you taper the edge. So follow the book. Here's another tip. If you have your parts powder-coated, sometimes you have to drill back through to clean up the extra material that the powder coat leaves on. I was having a hell of a time getting these in, and I thought it was because of the bushings on the hinges. Uh, but I just got to drill through and clean up the holes, or I could just file them, I guess. But either way, if you have your stuff powder coated, clean up your holes. That's what he said. All right, so quick, quick little status update. So I feel like I'm still going to have to move this body forward just a little bit. I thought I had it that quarter inch or whatever, but um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like these are these open. I don't know. I do need to cut this a little bit more here 
because this hits right okay. there and then I've got a maybe a quarter inch of clearance down here so I just need to remember I told you I kind of didn't come in far enough on this one so I'll bring this over uh, but it doesn't seem too bad I don't know how if this is how far the door should open I would think it would open a little bit wider than this but uh, I mean these cars aren't super easy to get in and out of uh, the other side is going to need more more adjustment with the, the size of the cutouts that I made because it doesn't open very far at all until it hits. Um, but I still think I might try to move the body forward some so these can clear a little bit farther. But uh, yeah, so that's that and I'm going to put the uh, side whatever, the rest of the door frame on and we'll see you there. Alright guys, so Next part is to just get the door frame and put the striker plate onto it. This should be the left door frame. And then this kind of just fits in to here. And then uh, put these on here with a washer. The next thing we need to do is attach a, the clevis here to this, uh, this part of the bracket, here the lever, um, using just a, uh, oh my hands are dirty, god, um, screw in a lock nut, lock washer. So, let's see if I can do this without too much, is that still going to fit? All right, that looks like that kind of... Why don't they have you do this before you install the thing? Because it'd be a lot easier. I'm going to take this out <laughs> and attach this... Well, it's already in. What a pain in the ass. God, it would have been so much easier to do this before I installed the hinge. All right, I'm taking the hinge out. And we're going to do that. So... Preparating, pre uh, preparing, preparing uh, your little hinge dude for installation. Go ahead and put in this quarter inch by three quarter screw and nylon lock nut. And let's see, are you, uh, nope, you're, of course. Hang on guys, gotta move you. You're not half, what am I doing here? There we go, and a screwdriver. Oh. Now, now with this clevis uh, attached, go ahead and install your um, inch bracket. Striker plate. No, that's not the striker plate. This is the, um, I don't know what it's called. Alright, so next thing I need to figure these things out here. Now there's, there's four of these. And I don't, I don't know why yet. But, um, I need at least this one, so go ahead and oh wait, let's see. Thread on one of these first here. This is gonna become lock washers essentially. You can adjust. And then we get this dude on. All right, there's that, and then attach the other end of the release cable to the handle. All right, so handle, as shown. So, it's not really shown super well, because the book is different from a little bit anyway. 
Are these identical? All right, these are identical. So I guess that's okay. Um, put this in, spin that around, and we'll just call that, call that good, I guess. No, that's wrong. <laughs> that's the wrong end. This end goes into here. Sometimes it helps to pay attention because then that clips in like that. See how that clips in? All right. Now, of course, it could also clip in up here or down there, but the, the book kind of shows it sort of angling down. So we're going to go with that. And, um, all right. All right, gang, here's what I did. I originally had um, this little tab, I think, mounted this way, so it seemed like it should come up this direction. These are all identical, right? So there's no... You know, they're symmetrical. Um, so I just just turned it around. Instead of having it mounted this way on there, I turned it around and mounted it that way. Maybe I missed that subtlety in the book. No, the book shows it different. Isn't that weird? Maybe that's passenger side. But this makes more sense to me. This comes off straighter here. Because um, if this were on, come up on the top, like this, then it would have been, like, at a, at a more severe angle. So I think, I think it's this way. And then, uh, yeah, you get that fairly tight. Um, And then we'll drill some holes and get that riveted in. All right, so here's what I've got done so far. I've just got this kind of loose in here so I can kind of readjust it. And you can see it. I think it probably needs to be something like this. Not really sure. Seems like it should be higher. It can go that way a little bit more. But uh, this here, I think I'm going to need to cut a little more out because I'm hitting the body on the top and not the bottom. The other side, I need to do the same thing, make the openings a little bigger. So that's where we're at right now. I think I'm gonna wrap the video up there. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick up probably, where are they? There they are. I'm gonna, next video I'll be cutting those and uh, that's a lot of cutting into that fiberglass. That just makes me nervous as hell. Um, but hey, it's got to be done. So I'm going to get to it. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this has been helpful at some level. Um, and uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next one.